Enjoy this free episode from My Outdoor TV. This bit always gets a shiver down my spine. And now get half off your subscription for over 20,000 of the best outdoor shows. We're the home of the adventurous. When you're hunting, weather can change. We know this. And the legends. That was the hardest best stalk in my life. My Outdoor TV. For a limited time, get half off an annual subscription when you use promo code YouTube50. The following is a My Outdoor TV original series. Driven Hunt, presented by Aimpoint. The future in sight. In this episode, four friends meet on well-known hunting grounds in southern Sweden. Right there, right there, right there. <laughs> Three familiar faces and a new one will take us to their high seats and guide us through their experiences. But he came like a rocket, eh? The okay. dogs were baying him the whole time. Where not everything goes as planned. <laughs> Driven Hunt 4. The game is moving. The hunters are ready. On a driven hunt, action is guaranteed in a breathtaking way. When the briefing is done and the dogs are released, great experiences await the hunters. Hunting companions get together and enjoy the unique chance of sharing a common passion. An early morning in a high seat with the rising sun spreading its light on the autumn landscape is a sure sign that the wait is over and that a new driven hunt season is about to unfold. The yearly harvest and management of wild game is essential to keep the deer and wild boar populations healthy. A driven hunt is a huge operation. All over Europe, it's the same way, with different types of dogs and people from near and far joining in. There is excitement in the air, as beaters and their dogs are getting ready for a day in the forest. When the beaters start moving through the forest, the wind noise and commotion start the game moving. It's a discipline, too, not to pressure the game too much, because if the game moved at full speed, it would make things difficult for the hunter. When the game presents itself to the hunters, their shooting skills are put to the test. It takes experience to hit a moving target. When everything comes together, there is nothing else like it. All the down game are collected at the end of the hunt. The animals are disemboweled and skinned. None of the valuable meat is wasted. The first hunter is our Swedish friend, Jonas Sandberg. Hunting with Jonas is rarely boring. And I was doing some kind of ninja move. I don't think anyone saw it. <laughs> From France, it is our friend and YouTube phenomenon, Philippe Lavit. Or field view, as he is affectionately called. Frederick Hanna enjoys organizing driven hunts. 
And our German friend can handle himself in a high seat as well. Right here, right here, right here. Our new friend and hunter is Danish Carl Gustav. He has been hunting for many years, but this is his first hunt with us. We wish him a good hunt. The hunting friends meet up in Sweden, on the hunting grounds of Trala Jungbu Estate, where Jonas is living together with his family. On Trolley Jungbo, a lucky hunter might see a moose in the area. There's no less than seven different species, just to make the day more exciting. Linus Larson, head gamekeeper at Trolley Jungbo Estate, welcomes our friends back to these familiar hunting grounds. Linus carefully manages the roebuck population Hunters return to the estate year after year and appreciate Linus's intimate knowledge of the strong Robux on offer. Know your Robux and let them get old. Congratulations. He just has. It's very thick here. Yeah. It wasn't. Very thick and the color is just yeah, spectacular. After the break, finally the wait is over. Thank you so much. See you later. Good luck. And we get to the first drive of this season's first hunt. Driven Hunt is presented by Aimpoint. The future in sight. And by Sauer Rifles. by Hornady Ammunition. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to Trolle Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're going to have a driven day today. We're going to shoot some wild balls and maybe some fallows. Fox, maybe. Just be aware of the security we are shooting. There are a few uh, people in the forest, but you have to see where the bullets are hitting, hitting in the ground, okay? Uh, we're going to uh, have some dogs in the beat. Sometimes the, the dogs and the, and the games are coming quite close together. And don't shoot if you're not sure that you're going to hit the right animal there. Okay, we're going to shoot some wild boars. To shoot at the, the small ones, I would say up to 70 kilos and the very big kilos. I don't want any bachen, no females to be shot. We're shooting fallows, we're shooting uh, calf and fawns, and also spikers. The red ears, we shoot fawn and spikers. And on the road ear, we o o only shoot fawns, nothing else, only fawns. And foxes as well. I hope we're going to have a nice day together. Okay, by my side. Going out to the stands, the hunters try to remember what Linus said they could take. Thank you so much, see you later, good luck. A few damages from the, the white boar when they are looking for food, a good clue that uh, they are supposed to be there. Sweden on Trullelungby Estate. First drive of a three-day hunt. Super, super excited. Let's load up and let's hope for some wild ball. Linus said only roe deer forms. And this seems like a young animal, but isn't young enough. Difficult to tell without a roe deer to compare it to. It's, it's a small roe deer. 
but it's still very difficult to size it. It's still on the road. It's, it's behaved like a, like a young, very young road, but it's very difficult to decide if it's a lamb or a grown up. I wait for the wild boar. We're standing with two fields, one on each side, and there's a small piece of forestry in front of us, which will uh, be the part that the beaters will go through. So um, let's see. It could be very good here. There came a group of uh, six small uh, fishling. But uh, with the first shot, I forgot to uh, take the safety on. So I only managed to shoot out the last one, which is uh, lying right here. Super exciting. It's crazy, it's every time. No matter if it's the first or the hundred or the more, I always get the same. Very intuitive shooting. We were looking the other way and suddenly we just hear something moving. And literally they were 10 meters from us. And uh, I turn around. And they are like five meters in front of us. And I just look at the first one I draw through and I pull the trigger and nothing happens because uh, I forgot the safety, which happens even though you hunt a lot when you get excited sometimes. There was no leading bacher, so it was only small pigs. I managed just before they were behind the branches to shoot the last one. So, uh, nice start. In the next ride, the action is picking up. Oh, oh big fellow. Frederick prepares for a long shot, and Jonas pulls off a quick shot. The second drive presents its challenges for Jonas. Uh, the wind is coming from behind, but it's a little bit angle, a little bit, so maybe in these spots here, uh, there will come animals. And uh, I also have a neighbor slightly to the right of me, so I, must, I cannot shoot in that direction. We're really we're in a straight line here with Jonas, so the animals really need to be here, short on the edge inside the wood for me to shoot at, or otherwise if they're out in the open, I will let them pass. And I'll really just wait until they're close to the ditch to make sure that my angle is as far away from Jonas as somehow possible. Again, safety is paramount. A fallow buck presents itself to Jonas. Ah, it's not big. It's not big enough. Oh, oh big fellow buck. Hmm? Too small? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Frederick did not sound too convinced, but all he can do is watch the buck trot away. No, the last, the black calf, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hit, it's hit. So we had four uh, fellow come through, two does and two calves. Um, I decided to shoot the black calf, that was the smallest calf of them. It reacted well to the shot, so I think I've hit it well. Uh, I saw it was definitely hit. He really went down in the front. So I believe that one will be down. Yeah, there was a nice fellow buck come through as well, but we weren't quite sure if he was big enough. So uh, we, we let that one pass because, as we said, we, we want that really big one. <laughs> Jonas had just a short window to get the shot off. The calf reacted well to the shot. Though visibly wounded, it still chases after its mother, making a follow-up shot difficult. I took a shot on the calf here, and they went through that bush. 
But then they come here. It was too far to shoot. We couldn't take the two flag. The bouncing movement of the roe deer makes a running shot very tricky. Carl Gustav waits for the fawn to come clear and for his nerves to steady. But what luck. We had a very exciting situation. We had two rodeos coming right in front of us, but they were running full speed almost under the tower and then they turned around and we never really got a clear shot. Another single rodeo comes by. Is that a fawn? Better to be safe and not take the shot. So, drive is over once time again and uh, still didn't have uh, seen uh, anything for now. No luck for field view this time. Jonas goes to check on the calf he shot. And it was here the hind and the calf come and I took the shot and you can see here a lot of light colored blood here. When I look at the color of the blood, it's light, light red. It looks like lung blood. So uh, yeah, I think we will find a calf ahead. It's a strong blood trail here. Yeah. And it goes like that. Jonas heads back, confident the shot was good. Instinctive shooting at its best. After the break. It's coming here. This way. <laughs> the dog is barking at one position the whole time, so it seems like it's paid a ball. In the third drive, wild boars are heading for Jonas and Frederick, but with very different outcomes. Driven Hunt is presented by Aimpoint. The future in sight. And by Sauer Rifles. By Hornady Ammunition. A special thanks to Trolla Jungbu Estate and head gamekeeper Linus Larson. The third drive is well underway. The beaters and the dogs have got the wild boars moving. Okay. It's coming here. This right. The boar comes perfectly to Jonas. But the young boar runs into the water. Jonas can only watch. It is not safe to shoot it in the water. Yeah, not much to do. Wait, they're coming another one. Still, still. Fuck. Maybe they come again. The second wild boar is also not safe for Jonas to take a shot. It's, it's by the tree. Then a third boar is off among the reeds. Diana, apparently, is busy elsewhere today. Let's see if Frederick has better luck. The dog is barking at one position the whole time, so it seems like it's paid a ball. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is wild boar action to the finest. Once again, I mean, <laughs> it's a young Kyla, came out, took the first shot on the shoulder, just on the first ride, and then perfectly got him behind the ear on the second shot, but you saw a big patch of blood on his shoulder already. So what actually the keepers have done here is absolutely amazing. I mean, you have all these different rides, 
And like you saw on the wild boar I've just shot, I sh took the first shot here on the big ride. I actually needed like five meters to see what type of boar it was. I had to, to age it, sex it and everything. So I shot on the first ride and yes, it would have killed it. It still came out on the second ride and I could shoot it again. And that's the beauty of these multiple rides. It's so nice to hear the dogs bark now. They found some more game. From what it sounded like, it must be boar again. more action. <laughs> and another Frischling, can you believe it? What a day, what a drive. It's the fourth animal down now. <laughs> Perfect, quartering away shot. Superb, I'm mega happy. If all driven hunt days were like today, that would be an absolute dream. I mean, it's all coming together. The, the weather couldn't be worse, but what a day. What a drive. Frederick indeed has more luck than Jonas did. Now he's eager to see the Kyler. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he came like a rocket, eh? The okay. dogs were baying him the whole time, okay. baying, baying, yeah, baying. Yeah, yeah. And I saw it moving in there the yeah. whole time. And all of a sudden he came like a cannonball, he came. Jonas comes by to congratulate his friend on his luck. Congratulations. Thank you. So I guess you have had some excitement on, in your stand. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. it was full on, to be fair. That one came with another Frischling and a Bache, a huge Bache. Yeah. Um, so I let her pass, but she'd seen us already, so she tried to turn around. Okay. So I had to wait because they were all into each other. Okay, and yeah. when it turned on, on the last second, I kind of angled a, a shot in. Yeah. Very well done. No, thank you very much and thank you for having us over here in Sweden. It's phenomenal. It's my first yeah, it's time and pleasure. I really enjoy it. It's a pleasure. Nice, let's get yeah. them sorted out. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen. A hunting day is over. I would say thanks a lot for uh, good shooting and safe shooting. Diana, the goddess of hunting, did not distribute her favors equally among the hunters. However, they all enjoyed the excitement of a well-organized driven hunt. Good hunting to you all. We hope you enjoyed this free preview from My Outdoor TV. To watch more, sign up today. Get 50% off an annual subscription when you use promo code YouTube50.